In the first case, we are having two current sources connected in parallel and the first source is providing the current I1 with this direction. The second source is providing the current I2 with this direction and therefore we have current I1 moving like this, current I2 moving or flowing like this and at this particular node we will apply KCL to get current I. Now don't consider that the circuit is open here. This is part of some network or you can consider some element connected across these two terminals and therefore current I will flow and using KCL we can say that current I will be equal to I1 plus I2. Therefore if we have a single source instead of these two sources then the source will provide the current I1 plus I2 in this direction. So this particular model is the equivalent model of this arrangement. Now we will move on to the second case and here in this case we have only one change as compared to this case. You can see two current sources are connected in parallel. I1, I2 are the currents provided by them but direction of I2 is now reversed. Therefore I1 will flow like this towards this node and I2 will not flow towards the node but it will leave the node and using KCL we will have I equal this is I2 I equal to I1 minus I2 therefore the equivalent model will have a single source providing I1 minus I2 in this direction now direction of the current will depend on the values of I1 and I2. We will have the same direction of the current when I1 is greater than I2 but we will have the opposite direction of the current when I2 is greater than I1 because in that scenario I will be negative and when current calculated comes negative we can reverse the direction of the current. So this is all for case number two let's move on to case number three in the third case we are having two current sources connected in series now this time they are not connected in parallel they are connected in series first source is providing the current i1 second source is providing the current i2 and they are having the direction as shown by the respective arrows now here students commit a common mistake they think I2 will assist I1 and therefore they simply add I1 and I2 which is not correct. This is incorrect because in the same wire, the wire is same in which we have two sources connected in series. So in the same wire, we have the same current. Current will not be different in the same wire. This implies current I1 is equal to current I2 and they will be equal to a same value of the current let's say I. Therefore we can have an equivalent model in which there is a single source providing the current I which is equal to I1 and I2. So this is all for the third case. Now we will move on to the fourth case. In the fourth case, we have one current source providing current I connected in series with a resistance having the value R. Now whenever you have this particular kind of situation, you can remove the resistance R and have an equivalent model like this in which there is no resistance involved in the equivalent model. Now this particular simplification we can do only while calculating the parameters on the load side. Whenever you have to calculate the parameters on the source side, we cannot perform this simplification. This is similar to the case we have seen while discussing the resistance connected in parallel with a voltage source, which I explained in the previous lecture. So remember this point and now we will move on to the fifth and the last case in which we have 
वन करेंट सोर्स कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज विद ए वोल्टेज सोर्स करेंट सोर्स इज प्रोवाइडिंग करेंट आई वोल्टेज सोर्स इज प्रोवाइडिंग द वोल्टेज वी एंड वन एवर यू हैव दिस काइंड ऑफ अरेंजमेंट यू कैन नेगलेक्ट द वोल्टेज सोर्स एंड हैव द करेंट सोर्स ओनली एंड देर इज नो नीड टू इंक्लूड द वोल्टेज सोर्स बट अगेन द कंडीशन इज सेम एज वी हैड इन केस नंबर फोर यू कैन डू दिस सिंप्लीफिकेशन ओनली वाइल कैलकुलेटिंग द पैरामीटर्स ऑफ द load side while calculating the parameters of the source side you cannot perform this simplification therefore case number 4 and case number 5 are special cases you have to take care of the condition which i explained in the previous lecture and also i have repeated in this lecture while calculating the parameters of the load side you can perform these simplifications but while calculating the parameters of the source side you cannot perform these simplifications so this is all for this lecture see you in the next one